Hello everyone. I'm very happy to take this opportunity to let you know how to make a lock fill NMR sensor. Generally, a NMR sensor with a magnet field below 200 millitesla would be called as a lock field NMR sensor. Reducing the magnet field is not the ultimate goal. The goal is to reduce the volume and weight of an NMR sensor by reducing magnet field. Thus, add portability and accessibility attributes to the low field NMR sensor. Low field NMR sensors have been usually applied in different field, including wear logging, plant science, and core analysis. There are several well-known structures of low field NMR sensor, including inside-out NMR sensor, uh, single-sided NMR, and Hubbock structure. These different structures have different merits in terms of their spatial structure and play essential roles in different applications. Concretely, an NMR sensor consists of a magnet and a radio frequency coil. The magnet generates background static magnet field, and the IF coil excites a sample and receives an NMR signal. It is worth noting that when building an NMR sensor, the background field and IF field should be perpendicular to each other. Here we will give you an example of a mini NMR sensor. Now my team member Dr. Shen will show you how to design and make a mini NMR sensor. Static magnetic field and the RF magnetic field are the basis of magnetic resonance. Therefore, we have to design a magnet and a coil first in a NMR sensor development. Uh, the performance of an NMR sensor is related to several attributes of background magnetic field and IF magnetic field. Practically, uh, we balance between different attributes of magnetic field by optimizing the structure of magnets and of coil according to specific NMR measurement application. Specifically, for double pi shaped magnet, we adjust the radius and the gap between two pies to search for the optimum structure. Here, this process was implemented in a commercial finite element method simulation software. For a more complex structure optimization, other advanced modeling and solving methods could be exploited. Briefly, the structure optimization of magnet as to balance between magnetic field strength and homogeneity in the region of interest according to the application. For solenoid of coil, its dimension was partially determined by the magnet. We only adjust its turn number and pitch in structure optimization. Uh, briefly, as a structure optimization is to balance between coil efficiency and of magnetic field homogeneity. With the structure optimization finished, we obtain the optimal structure parameters of magnets and of coil, according to which we make the support performance of them using 3D printing. We build a 3D model of magnet firmer first. The, f the firmer building was implemented uh, using AutoCAD. 3D modeling software like 3D Max, SolidWorks are also recommended. Then we start building a 3D former of half coil.
Here are the firmers. They could be put together, and next we would adamber the magnet and wind the coil. Magnet assembling can be dangerous, since these two pie-shaped magnets attract each other, and the magnetic force between them is quite large. We would recommend assembling with dedicated tools or by experienced personnel. Of coil winding is not dangerous, but it is tricky to fix it during wire winding. We usually use glue and tips to fix it, and remove the tips when the glue dries. Until now, we have basically finished the magnetic field part of an NMR sensor. In the next video, we would introduce tuning and matching of coil and how to do NMR measurement with the NMR sensor.